Amen. So I had heard of this guy named Mike Koenigs for quite some time, but we hadn't had the opportunity to meet. Um, I was actually very good friends with his wife, Vivian, and some of you have uh, met Vivian because she is um, the founder of Just Like My Child, and it's a charity that helps um, young gir- helps girls, helps women uh, through a project she created called the Girl Power Project in Uganda. And so I've been really connected in my heart, involved with, in, with that in the last 10 years. And uh, I had, but I hadn't met Mike. And I finally, I met him a few years ago at my mastermind and we just totally hit it off. And um, so, and he is just the most heart centered, caring guy that you could meet. Uh, But the other part of him is that he is absolutely brilliant. Uh, He is the most creative person that I've ever met. I mean, the things that he creates, these ideas, it's like, where the heck did he get that from? And so uh, Mike Koenigs, uh, just in the marketing world, he really is at the top, top. He has created millions and millions of dollars online digitally. In fact, in one week, he had a $9 million launch. Hello? Okay. And uh, he also has um, helped so many of our Pinnacle members become number one best-selling authors. I mean, he's just incredibly talented good friend of mine, and so I'm excited to bring him up here, but before I do, um, I'm going to have you look at the screen for a video. I think Mike Koenigs is one of the most inspirational people I've ever seen. He has an energy about him that is just infuses in you and just wants you to be the best who you want to be. He's got this infectious smile and this, this nature about him. Yes, he's deadly serious and he really knows his stuff, but he's got this energy about him that makes you feel like, not only can I do it, but I want to do it. And he gives you that kind of energy. He's just very sincere about wanting to help people. The tools that Mike has brought to me have allowed me to, to revolutionize my business. He has a vision for helping a million people to become millionaire entrepreneurs. That's going to change the whole world. So today, I'm here to share with you, introduce to you a gentleman who's a dear friend of mine. He's helped me set up my studio and really helped me get going. He's been a dear friend, but more importantly, he's been a consultant to some of the biggest companies in the world. Here's a guy that started literally from nothing, but back in the early days of the web, back in 1991, you know, most people forget 1989 is when the World Wide Web really was created. So within a few years, he was already the guy that was, you know, writing you know, the, some of the first CD-ROMs uh, games, you know, that were out there. Did some of the first Mac games that existed for Macintosh. Went out and became the person that really, when the movie industry was the guy that set up all those initial websites for Sony and for Columbia TriStar and for Fox. Uh, it was a guy that's managed or helped some of the largest business in the world, 3M, Domino's Pizza. But he's also shown people how to get started from nothing. And I know that's what he's probably most proud of. Mike started his first business at 16, writing software. At 18, he became a computer programmer. Today, Mike's a millionaire. We're going to tell you how to get off the grid the way the celebrities do. Mike Koenigs is here today. He's a, a film director, and he's put together this documentary called Life with Tesla. Earning over $50 million online and helping more than 49,000 customers in 121 different countries, Mike Koenigs has influenced and advised business owners and entrepreneurs worldwide, helping them start, build, grow, and reinvent themselves in becoming experts, authorities, and best-selling authors and celebrities. He's interviewed, advised, and consulted some of the wealthiest and most influential business leaders, billionaires, and movie stars on the planet. For nearly 30 years now, Mike has brought celebrity-level marketing tools and his You Everywhere Now systems to entrepreneurs and businesses so that you can get you and your business found, seen, heard, watched, and read anytime, anywhere, and on any device. With the click of a button, you can leverage Apple, Google, Amazon, Facebook, and YouTube's social network to build, grow, engage, and monetize your audience, following, and brand today. Mike built and sold his last two businesses to publicly traded companies. His most recent exit was selling Traffic Geyser and Instant Customer in October 2014. 
Mike's first company, Digital Cafe, was sold to the publicly traded Interpublic Group in 1999. Mike came from humble beginnings. He grew up lower middle class in Eagle Lake, Minnesota, a small town in southwest Minnesota, population 763. He's the oldest of four kids, and his dad was a barber. Mike taught himself how to program when he was 14 years old. He's been writing code, innovating, consulting, and advising business owners, CEOs, and celebrities since he was 16 years old. After 30 years as a serial entrepreneur, Mike Koenigs is an 11-time number one best-selling author, international top-rated speaker, consultant, angel investor, host of his own TV show, and philanthropist who has raised over $2.4 million for the Just Like My Child Foundation and Girl Power Project, an organization that empowers the world's most vulnerable girls to have control and take control of their bodies, their education, their communities, and their future. So I want to introduce to you uh, Mike Koenigs, my dear friend. Welcome, Mike. Hey, thanks a lot, Tony. Hi, this is Mike Keenings, and I want to talk to you today about how you can build a business. <laughs> All right. Wow, <laughs> that was impressive. <laughs> Let's give him a hand. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I love you. I thank love you. you. You're awesome. Right. Have fun. All right. Hi, everyone. You guys ready to rock and roll? All right, all right. I'm so, so charged. And I got to tell you, this is a really, really good looking group. Have you noticed that? Allison knows how to attract brand representative people to her events. I got to tell you, this is so awesome. It's great to be with real business owners as well. So today, I'm going to share with you uh, some of my favorite topics that I believe are going to help you really, really build and grow your business and help you propel yourself to the next stage. So um, I'll take you on a little tour. I have um, some stories to share with you, but more importantly, I have a couple exercises that I think are gonna help you amplify your message so you can build, engage, and grow a following, and also just bring in higher quality customers to your business who pay you more money. Does that sound good? Rock and roll. So uh, first of all, this is a very, very important quiz. It's a test, a real test. What business are you in? Marketing business, what business are you in? Human being business, okay, we're getting there. Not ants, definitely not ants, what else? All right, what other, what else? I just wanted to show you my shoes. I put these on for Allison today, you like these babies? A friend of mine gave me some money shoes, so I figured I'd wear them for you. So what business are you in? Healing business, what? Okay, I'll just, I'll just tell you what they are. Okay, here you go, guys, just for you. There we go, there we go. Do a little karate kid here. Huh, huh? All right. So here's what it is. I, that, that was pretty good. All right, so here's the business you're in. It is the attention business. Did I get your attention today? Getting up here? So we are all in the professional attention business because if you don't get attention, you don't get to be in the business you think you're in, Okay. You don't get to close deals, you don't get to help people, you don't get to grow or build or engage an audience. And right now, um, this is an important quote. A study by Microsoft that was published in Time Magazine said the average attention span had dropped from 12 seconds to 8 seconds and a goldfish has a 9 second attention span. So, that means you and I are living in the world of Facebook and mobile phones and I don't know about you, if you've tried doing business with millennials lately, <laughs> anyway, the shortest attention spans ever. But let's face it, as our businesses transition, that's the audience that's going to be feeding us not in the not-too-distant future. So if you think about it, you're only as good as the last Facebook ad you flip through or the last text message you flip through because it's like a roll of toilet paper. So I happen to be of the belief, and I believe it's true, I haven't had anyone prove me differently, that <clears throat> you have two seconds to get someone's attention, and you might get 20 seconds of their time. And if you earn, and I repeat, earn 10 minutes of someone's time, you have the opportunity to not only gain their attention, but hopefully earn their trust, okay? And it's been my experience. I've been online doing marketing for a long, long time, and I'm fascinated by the world of influence and persuasion. I love, love Michael Burnoff and what he does. 
And everything I do is about how do I build genuine, high-integrity trust in the shortest period of time, and the human brain responds and reacts to great stories. It's how we are wired. So if you can earn or gain attention, get trust, you can also achieve status and influence. And I just came back from a Tony Robbins UPW event about a week and a half ago. I took my son there. He's 15 years old, and I wanted him to experience how to get in control of this physiology and own that. And that way, maybe he'll focus more on important things instead of video games, you know? Yeah, it's, um, but um, anyway, the bottom line here is being able to gain influence is the most important skill you'll ever have as a business owner. If you can influence an audience, you'll never go hungry, you'll never go out of business, especially in the new era that we live in today. So part of the journey I'm going to take you on are the shortcuts, the fastest ways to achieve status and influence. And this is another important idea. <clears throat> so we can look at the people that are up on the screen. Celebrity, authority, and status is perception and positioning. I would like to say celebrity is manufactured. Now whether you love the guy or hate the guy, um, the, the person that is currently the President of the United States won a popularity contest and he figured out how to manufacture celebrity. Remember hearing about how he posed as his own press agent, right? And he talked about himself and how great he was. Now, you can decide whether or not it's ethical or unethical or whatever it is, but he is President of the United States. What? Yeah, he is, okay? <laughs> Um, and the Kardashians are popular. And I do not understand for the life of humanity what value they actually offer to the human race. I have no effing clue at all. However, anything they touch turns to gold and they have influence. They have status. That is the world we live in. So the question is, how can we, ordinary, normal people, actually take advantage of these tools and resources and get it too, right? So... I have a business, it is called You Everywhere Now. And as the little video said, you know, I built and sold some businesses, I've done tech stuff for a long, long time, but I'm absolutely fascinated with the idea and the notion of being able to share your message, get found, seen, heard, viewed, watched, listened to, and read on any device, anywhere, anytime on demand. And it doesn't have to be that complicated, it'll take you on the journey. But the net net is, if you think about it, inside all of our pockets and purses is a device that allows us to communicate with the entire human race for free, at least the entire connected human race for free. The question is, why aren't we all billionaires because of it? It's because of messaging. It's about status and influence. So how do we get there quickly? How do we build and grow our businesses? So first of all, I'm going to guide you through what I believe the five keys to building your platform are. And this is old school stuff, really. So the first one is becoming a best-selling author. And I'll make a bigger point of that in a little while. It's not about a book. It's about what a book will give you. The next one is speaking. Learning how to speak and sell. In terms of value, speaking is the most valuable skill you will ever learn, and it also is the most lucrative. It allows you to speak to many. So just raise your hand if you are currently speaking um, or if you want to speak, okay? Is that most of you? I can't, I, there, there are bright lights here. Most? Or are you just completely disengaged and you hate my guts? Okay, all right. So, all right. I would hope that we would all raise our hands. And it, again, it doesn't mean you're speaking on big stages. It could be meetup groups. But getting in front of an audience and being able to close, if you could close 10 times more customers, would you do it right now with the same amount of effort? All right? That's speaking. So next is coaching, consulting, and advising. And really, that's persuasion and influence. It's knowing how to persuade and influence. And I know you're here because that's one of the takeaways you want is how do I persuade and influence more effectively? And then productizing your existing business. So if you're currently selling time, raise your hand if you sell time right now. It's part of your business. Roughly a third-ish, okay? Raise your hand if you're selling products in, right now in some way, shape, okay? And then we have dead people here, okay? So uh, come on, play with me. All right. So the bottom line is, if you're not automating your marketing right now, you're going backwards, in my opinion. And then finally, being able to promote and amplify with media. And that is taking advantage of social. Right now, Facebook and Instagram, for example, are two of the most powerful platforms for generating leads. However, it is absolutely possible to build and grow a business just with, say, books and speaking, for example, or whatever. I mean, I'm not partial to anything. I'm partial only to what delivers results and works. But what is important is, however you promote 
in this era that we live in, understanding how to promote and market on Facebook Live or Facebook and Instagram will carry over to all the other mediums. So the big question is, and I, again, I like to ask this, I like to start with the fundamentals, but why are you here? You know, why did you come to Allison's event and what's the big takeaway you wanted? Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what? Clarity, clarity, fantastic. Time, time freedom. What else? Money? Roadmap? Okay. And ultimately, so if you had clarity and if you had a roadmap, what would you get? More money. And when you have more money, you have? Freedom, and I would ultimately say it always, it always comes down to lifestyle leverage. Money is leverage, and all these come down to lifestyle. I would go so far as to say peace of mind. That is a massive, massive driver for me right now. So like if I'm paying my number one, 250 or 300,000 bucks a year, or whatever you're paying your number one, assuming you have a number one, you better have some effing peace of mind, okay? That's what I ask for is my system. So money, time, and family. So I'm going to take you on just one brief journey. This will explain a little bit more of the framing of, of the rest of the uh, presentation I have in mind for you. But as the video said, I grew up in a little tiny town, Eagle Lake, Minnesota. I have a high school education. I never went to college. I, I am not a model student at all, okay? Did not fit in. So I had to learn how to learn on my own, and I didn't have any mentors. My dad is a barber. He cut hair until a year ago, and he just turns, he turns 80 this November, okay? So he wasn't around a lot, and the great thing is I had, I had a great dad and a great mom. They still live in the same house I grew up in. I'm visiting them actually next week. Um, but I didn't have mentors, so I had to figure this out myself. So um, between the building and growing businesses, the one thing that was left out is about five years ago, I was diagnosed with stage 3A colorectal cancer, and I, was, uh, I went through major surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation treatment, and that's where I got to meet my maker and rethink every aspect of my life. And I will first stand up and say, gentlemen, get checked. If, if any blood ever comes out, that's a, that's a warning, okay? But uh, more importantly, it hurt like a mother. And it was a very, very rough experience. And um, uh, ultimately, what ended up happening is in that journey, um, I realized that I was living a toxic life. I had been working my rear end off as an entrepreneur for a long time, and it finally caught up and bit me. And I didn't know how to contain my emotional rage and my anger. And I believe I manifested the disease emotionally. And you know, you talk to a lot of people in the integrative arts, they would agree with that point of view. So it was a soul-cleansing opportunity and also an opportunity to rethink, like, what do I want to do with the rest of my life, assuming I get through this and I get to live a life? And so one of the things that I realized I had never done and I decided to do is I wrote a book. And I not only wrote a book, but I spoke my book into my phone and I wrote it, published it, promoted it, and became a number one best-selling author in less than 30 days with less than an hour of strength a day. And I woke up every day in a pile of my own hair. I weighed less than 150 pounds. I got down to my high school junior weight size, 27 inches, okay? <laughs> I was not, you know. But um, it was really, I, I got to learn the distinction between soul and body as a result of that. And if anyone's been through this journey, you know what I'm talking about. But um, I wrote that book, and I realized that fulfilled a huge part of who I was and who I wanted to become and also the people I wanted to serve. So what wound up happening is that book not only got published, it started building a following and my clients and my customers started saying, how did you do it? How did you manage to write that book? And um, I created a course and that course evolved into a movement and to, as of right now, we've helped over 1,300 people become best-selling authors. Some of you are in the audience today. And uh, one of them is a nine-year-old girl, her name's Abby Richter, who wrote four best-selling books in three months about rescue pets. Okay, her mom is Lee Richter. Um, and she got featured in American Girl magazine. Last year, she made $30,000 speaking and presenting. Now imagine that. So if a nine-year-old girl can do it, huh? And then, 
82 year young Joni Wilson used to sing for Elvis in Las Vegas, backup singer, and she was a vocal coach. When I met her, she was living on a friend's couch, but I convinced her to write a book, and not only did she write several books, she became a book marketing consultant, and that was one of her checks, or one of her first checks she received, completely reinvented herself, okay? Really amazing transformational story. And our youngest to date was just at our last event, seven years old, Brie Bravo. Her and her mom were there, and her book is actually really good. Um, so that's my favorite little, and, and again, if a seven-year-old girl can do it, um, <clears throat> but she's already uh, speaking, and the doctor who nursed me back to health, her name is Nalini Chilkov, was inspired and, and wrote a book and published it as well. So, <clears throat> um, and by the way, just got my latest CT scan results and blood results. There's no cancer in my body, so I <laughs> thank you. It is very, very nice to be alive. And... Um, and so I get to continue on the journey with you. And this is my mission and my vision. My goal is to create a million millionaire entrepreneurs before I pass. And I love doing it because the key, the secret is status and influence. It really is. So cracked the code, wrote a bunch of books. And uh, what I'm going to take you on a little journey today is what I think is important about books and why they will help you build and grow your business. So uh, the most important idea here is everything I'm sharing with you has nothing to do with a book, but what a book will give you. And the reason for that is if you think about it, if you could position yourself, walk up to any prospect or client and hand them a package that distinctly says, this is who I am, this is what I do, and here's how I will help you, and they get it. This is a package that represents you at a glance. It costs a couple of bucks, and it will open up doors and gateways that you may not have ever dreamed of. In fact, one of the stories we're gonna, I'm going to share with you in a little while is exactly that. So um, I will share one story that popped into my head because, again, I've been chatting with you and meeting a bunch of you today. I have a client who wrote a book for one customer to close a deal. And the deal was this person is in the business of creating high-quality organic box lunches for hotels, for lunches. Uh, you know, for events and so on. And, of course, their product is a little more expensive than the average one, but they make a point of how um, serving high-quality food, your people are going to thank you for it, but it's also safer. And he showed them how they actually save money in insurance and, um, I don't know, whatever bad things happen when you eat rotten food, okay? I don't know all the technicalities here, but what wound up happening is this guy figured out who the top Six people are that influenced the CEO, decision maker of the business, seeded the book with six people, and eventually got it to them. So all of them read it, and it was like, it's as though they're writing this, this guy's writing this book for you. It was a sales letter, okay? Closed a million dollar deal with a book, okay? So what I want you to know is one of the most important concepts here is a book is a conversation. It is a cover, it is a package that represents you. It is extremely low cost. You can update and change the cover twice a day if you wanted, the content twice a day if you wanted. Everything is updatable by you. And that is a very, it's a massive game changer. And as I show you, there are really, really powerful ways to use it to build and grow your business. So just by show of hands, uh, raise your hand if you have written or published a book. Okay, a chunk of you. Is that book making you as much money as you wish it would or would like it to? Okay, and that is what, this story is all about. So I'm going to give you seven reasons and ways your book will help you build your platform. So first, it is hands down the most effective way to give something away online if you're using paid traffic or Facebook or ads or your website to capture leads. Never call it a white paper, never call it a PDF, never call it an ebook. It is a book. People value books. It's 564 years old if you adhere to the Gutenberg rule. It's thousands of years if you realize that the Chinese did it first. All right. And more importantly, if you don't like to sell, don't think you can market, it's something that sells for you. So, <clears throat> for example, just having a download now button on your website gets great conversions. But also, um, what I do is in all of my books, I have a link that says get the latest version of the book in a free video. It's really me delivering all the content of the book in a short period of time and an opportunity to do business with me. Now, here's what's important. <clears throat> Every sing that little web page I showed you, I mean, you can take a picture of this if you want to. That is an, a, a, 
a simple, really simple opt-in squeeze page. That thing converts about 70 to 80% of the people who go there, okay? It's stupid simple. By the way, I used a tool called ClickFunnels to make it. I'll tell you how you can get, get a copy of this as we move on. But here's what's more important. <clears throat> with zero promotion of that book, and this is what we consistently find with people who follow our directions and come up with a good name for their book, a good title and subtitle that delivers results, um, I'm getting anywhere, like if I sell 30 copies a day, which is a good organic rate, I get 10 to 12 leads per day with phone numbers. So my question for you is, if you got 10 to 12 leads per day, what would that do for your business right now? Qualified with a phone number, okay? Because if they bought your book, whether they spent a buck or a hundred bucks, that is a qualified, interested lead. They took the next step. Amazon is promoting and selling you, and you get paid, but more importantly, you're building a list with zero work, okay? That is very, very powerful. It's one of the best hands-free marketing tools that exist, plus you can put it on your website. As I like to say, it's a perfect package. So here's a couple examples. This is one of my clients. This is one of the best book titles I've ever uh, done. One of the things I do when I'm working with my clients is I help them with their book titles and subtitles. So sometimes I laugh so hard the tears run down my legs. It's the only book you need to understand, treat, and eliminate incontinence forever. Okay? Do you think that book would get her on TV? So if you just take a press release, like copy-paste a press release, put a copy of your best-selling book cover in it, and send it to your local television station, you will get on TV. And if you've got a kick-ass title like that, which I happen to be really good at, at helping people do, um, you will get on TV, and that helps you build your celebrity status. And it doesn't matter if the people who follow you or if the people who watch TV are your potential customers. So you take that video, you put it on Facebook, you send some boosted traffic. Do you think people are going to see you as a star? It's free advertising and marketing. All right, here's another one. Kara Searsnick. Um, it's the kinder karate method. Improve your preschoolers' discipline, confidence, focus, and self-control with martial arts made for them. Okay, do you know what she does, who she does it for, and what the benefits would be? I think someone with a preschooler might want that. Okay, great way to fill up her school. Here's Jason Marchetti, a buyer's guide to stem cell therapies. Safely choose the right regenerative treatment for you. Okay, do you know what he does? Probably who he, who he does it for. Bullyproof Fitness, um, the ultimate guide for parents to win the battle against bullies, bellies, and make your kid feel like a super ninja. Okay? Do you think that would be good for a parent who would be looking at that? So, and he's got a great story. He was talking about his book before it was released. Someone overheard him. He just sent me this video. And uh, a, uh, a news reporter was sitting right next to him and said, can I have you on my show? And, he, and his book wasn't even done yet. All right? So I have an exercise we're going to do together right now. And one of the excuses people make, objections, I guess you can say, is, well, I don't know what I'd write about. I'm not an expert. I'm not a th an authority. Or fill in the blanks here. So I've heard every possible excuse you can possibly imagine, right? I've used them myself. So what I'm going to do is guide you through a process, just prove to you you've probably got five to ten books inside you right now that will help you build, grow, and engage an audience. So it's something I call the 10 by 10 and it's super, super crazy easy. Um, what it is, is the first 10 is what I call the, the list of frequently asked questions. You can write this down. It's all you do is think about the top 10 frequently asked questions you get asked all the time in your business. These are the things that the uninitiated might ask you before they do business with you. And all you do is respond with three to 10 minute responses. By the way, that is a chapter in a book. And I love to say, if you can't think of something right now, tell me a transformational story. Someone who asked you a question, you answered the question, and you solved their problem, and then they decided they want to do business with you. But you use this to rapidly create books, but more importantly, you can repurpose it for social media. Or if you're doing Instagram or Facebook Live, you just adapt the stuff that got the most engagement, the most likes, and that becomes a chapter in your book. Okay? So the first 10 are the frequently asked questions. The second 10 are what we call should ask questions. Now, these are the secret sauce portion of you and your business. So if I asked you right now, what's your one great thing that you do that people talk about you and say about you behind your back when they're promoting you? Okay, What's that secret special sauce? And when someone hears that or they hear you, your unique story, even if you've got competition issues, 
if you're in a horribly competitive environment, your stories are unique to you. No one else has them. But when you tell those little, sh- the, the should ask questions, the responses to those, you build credibility and trust and it differentiates you and your product. And it also creates desire for your product or service because just telling someone a little story, answering a question, and it might be like the top 10 resources or tools that have provided the best results for the clients you're working with right now. Like if you're in the health, fitness, nutrition, it'd be like, what are the top three foods to avoid and the top three fr- foods to use? Okay? If you're in the technology world, what are the top three things that have helped my clients become hyper successful? What are the top three things they do all the time that cause them to fail? So that's the should ask questions. Now the tool I used back when I went through this, on your phone you can download an app, it's called Rev.com. It's a voice recording application. You press a red button and <clears throat> when you press the red button, you record your audio and when you're done, uh, you'll, uh, you press a button and it gets transcribed by real human beings who send it back to you in a Microsoft Word format that can be copied, pasted, and edited by someone to do your whole book for you, like in a few days. Is that super, super ultra mega badass? Yes? All right. So I'm going to demonstrate something. Now, uh, does someone have a kick-ass question to ask me or an objective question? And I will show you how I actually write my books in my car. The distance from my uh, place in La Jolla to my studio, which isn't too far from here, is 17 minutes, which is plenty of time for a chapter. So I can write a chapter a day on my way to the studio and on the way back. So one of the questions I get all the time is, hey, Mike, it's not possible to write a good book in a few days or weeks. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you right now and show you how I've taught a lot of people how to become best-selling authors, over 1,300. Press the red button. So one of the most frequently asked questions I get all the time and objections is, Mike, I don't think it's possible to write a good book in a few days or a couple of weeks. And I say nonsense to that because you write a book every week in your business answering the same questions over and over again. So if you just recorded those responses, put them in a package that people respect, they admire, and they trust, which is a book, they will pay you for your marketing information and that same material will help you get in the media, get interviewed in podcasts, get in television, and use as a great giveaway at trade shows, conferences, conventions. It will help you get booked for high-paying speaking gigs. And what's great about this is if all you do is tell transformational stories about the people you've worked with and the lives that have been changed and how you help them, people will want to work with you. And the key secret is tell stories about the best customer you've ever had who paid you, implemented, got results, came back, asked for you to do even more for them, and brought in some referrals who are also high-quality customers. That is the secret to using a book to build and grow your business, and it's the fastest way to create a high-quality book that tells your story in a brand-representative fashion, and you can get it done in as little as a day. Okay, that's a chapter right there. Got it? That's also great marketing material. Now, I've practiced this before. I know I'm on stage before you, but I promise you, if you like to help people, you can answer questions. You've done this over and over and over again. And if you repeat yourself at all, think about the time you could gain and how many more customers you can get by just spending a half a day. And I'm gonna prove another thing to you right now. Is that helpful and useful? Now let me show you something else. This is, uh, so I'm in this app right now. And uh, when I save this, I just click on the save button. And I just use Siri, I say, chapter one, myth busting. Okay, and I press transcribe, hit place order, and in probably 20, 30 minutes, I'm gonna get a Microsoft Word document sent back to me. Okay, yes, okay, yeah, all right. When I have more time and I'm actually doing this, like for real and teaching you in, in, uh, uh, at my events and, and in my program and stuff like that, this is what we do. I mean, we're just immersively creating content. All right, so <clears throat> I want you to do this and experience it because I want to prove a point to you. So here's the big idea. Um, what you want to do is come up with as many 10 by 10 frequently asked questions and should ask questions as possible. 
And while you do this, do it as fast as you can. Just write down little bullet points, okay? And the bullet points are going to be things that would remind you. So if all you had to do is look at the bullet and then tell a story or respond to that, you'd be able to do it, okay? The key is quantity, not quality right now. <clears throat> so if all you did is start writing down, what are the top 10 questions people ask you all the time about who you are, what you do, who you do it for? That would be a couple of them. Another one might be, um, tell me a story of the best customer you've ever had. And then the second best, and the third best. Just write down their names. People that if you just attracted 100 customers just like that, you'd have all the business you'd ever need. Or a 1,000, or a million of them. Another one would be top three tools, resources that transform your business or your clients or customers. Just focus on speed right now. Your whole goal is just create as many bullets as you can. Anytime you're stumped, focus on a customer story. Stories sell. They're emotional. Another one might be, what's the best strategy technique you've ever implemented that got consistent results? And the more authentic, the more raw you are, the more open-hearted, the more people are going to be connected. Got a minute and 15 left. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Just race through it. What are the top five mistakes your poorest, worst performing customers make? The ones you don't even want to work with, the ones you want to push away. Tell a story of the worst cu customer or client you've ever had. Beauty of the book is it's a narrative. It's your rules presented in front of someone on how you will work with not how they will work with you. 20 seconds left, try to get two more bullets down. All right, so count them up. How many did you get? How many questions did you write down? Just tell me, okay? Got five or more, raise your hand. Should be everyone. How about 10 or more? Keep it up. 15? Okay. Couple? Fantastic. More than that, how many did you get? 16? 16. Fantastic. Well, here's the deal. We did that for three minutes. So imagine taking yourself for, for a nice lunch, alcohol free, sit down with a nice glass of iced tea, you set a timer on your phone, boom, you did that exercise for one hour. Whatever number you came up with, multiply it by 20. So if you did five, you got 100 questions. If you did 10, you got 200, et cetera, et cetera. 16, you do the math. Okay, 300 and some. All right, so an 80 to 100 page book is about 20 frequently asked question, should ask question pairs. So that means every single one of us here has five books inside you right now begging to come out. And you can publish it for free and it'll help you build and grow a business. Now, four to six hours of recorded or repurposed content is enough for a short book, and I'm going to ex explain why a short book is better. And <clears throat> you can talk your book, because you're already doing it. Someone else will do all the editorial for you. You don't have to do the monkey work. I'll tell you about where you can find people to do that. And more importantly, you don't have to be a writer to be an author, and someone will help you through the process. Is this interesting? Exciting? Yeah. Fabulous? Okay, good. I like that. I like that. So, this is interesting. I have a mentor. His name's... Um, uh, Help me out, Dan from Strategic Coach. I can't believe it, just spaced. Dan Sullivan, first day with a new brain. Thank you for that. So according to Barnes & Noble Research, um, a book that's less than 80 pages long gets read 70% of the time. 80 to 100 page book gets read 40 to 50% of the time. 100 to 140 pages gets read 30% of the time. All the way down to a long book, 200 pages or longer, gets read less than 10% of the time. 
So let me ask you a question. If you just handed someone a book and they looked at it and they were so impressed with your title and subtitle that they decided to give you money right now, a $2,000, $5,000, $10,000 deal, or you booked a speaking gig, do you care if they read one page? Good, that's a good answer. You do not care, okay? If someone looks inside my book and clicks the link and goes to my website, gives me their phone number, and then buys one of my products, do I care if they buy the book? No, good, great. So frequent short books are better for business. Now this is the next one. Raise your hand if you're familiar with the concept of platform. A big idea, it's who knows you, what you know, um, it's who you influence, who you persuade, who's in your network. So this is a way to build, engage, and monetize. So for example, you can start out with a book. You've got at least the framework of how it works right now, which is it's easy. It's just a way of thinking. The secret to writing a book is it's psychology. It has nothing to do with systems, process, team, and that kind of, or with team and technology, all right? It is a mindset. As I like to say, I'm, I'm in the thinly disguised personal development market. And I just so happen to teach people how to do skillful things that make a big difference, okay? Mindset. So, write a book. That, your book becomes your speech. Now, your speech could be a paid or a platform speech. It could become a TED Talk. Or your speech can become a book. One of my books was a 10-minute speech that I made that got a lot of engagement. And all I did is expanded it a little bit. 10 minutes. Now, from there, what happens naturally is when your book is out there and you're getting hooked, uh, you're getting speaking gigs, people are going to pay you more money as a coach, consultant, or advisor. Published authors who know how to use their books properly make more money, period, end of story, because they have more brand value. And after that, <clears throat> the next thing is if you're getting more work as a result of your book, you're going to reach a point where you need to productize. You need to convert your knowledge, know-how, and experience into a product but more importantly, you need to automate your marketing. Your book will help you do that and drive more business. And I don't care what business you're in, stump me, okay? I've never met a business that won't be improved or increased with the status and celebrity a book will give you. I don't care what business it is in. Regulate it, okay? <clears throat> Next, books will get you booked in the media. You can do pay to play, for example. About 50 bucks to get booked on Radio, 75 bucks to get booked in podcasts, 150 bucks to get booked on TV. That's where you don't pay unless someone gets you on TV. But using your book to get on television and in the media is easy. And when you get enough momentum, just from interviewing alone, not only do you become a better speaker, your consistent message starts with the book, goes to the speech, goes through your products, is the same. Okay? It's a simple conversation that is intended and designed to convert an audience into a trusted buyer using an influence tool. And from there, well, what are we at right now? This would be considered a big ticket event, okay? Now, you've gone through an escalation process, okay? A mastermind is a natural. Raise your hand if you'd like to be doing masterminds in your industry or your business. Just curious. Good chunk of you, okay? This is the pathway to power. You will notice that everyone who has a business that follows the escalation path usually is doing all these, every single one of them. And then finally, the exit. I've built and sold several businesses, but being able to do certification, licensing, franchises, for example. How do you sell your IP so you don't need to be there? It begins with a book, a framework. It gives you absolute clarity on what to do next, who you're doing it for. Okay, That's what we call platform, but it also happens to be your best marketing tool. Now, do you have to do all these? No. Do you have to do them in order? No. It's what works best for you and your business. But this is generally the pathway to power. Is this making sense? Is this a useful diagram, giving you some more clarity? Good, very good. All right, reason two. A book will boost your influence, credibility, position you as a speaker, coach, consultant, advisor, expert, and authority so you can charge three to five times more money. It naturally happens. So I have a story for you. His name's John Cody. <clears throat> now, he was an airline pilot when I met him. Wanted to get off the road so he could spend more time with his family. He used our system, wrote a book called Mobilize Your Customers, but more importantly, this is really important, Amazon becomes your best search engine optimization expert because when you have a book, you also get a author biography page where you can put photos and videos, your commercials, links to your events in there. And when people search for your name, your Amazon bio will probably show up nowadays before your own website will because Google trusts Amazon and people trust Amazon. So a way, and you're going to hear a story here, this is awesome, 
John got a call from someone searching for a word of mouth advertising and said, John, and, and then pinged him on Facebook and said, John, will you come speak at our event? And he goes, sure, unexpected. What's this all about? He said, well, it's a, uh, um, a business called medical tourism. And he goes, I don't even know what that is. And she goes, it doesn't matter. I want you to talk about word of mouth advertising. There are going to be doctors there who people come to their hospitals from all over the world to get treated. Okay, I did a form of medical tourism when I went to Duke, for example, but sometimes people go to Thailand or wherever else. So he came to this event, he spoke and gave away his book. One of the best ways to build and grow an audience or work inside your existing business is to do a book signing party. Tell people to bring along a guest who's a qualified uh, prospect. Signing the books gives you instant authority, instant credibility. But here, he did the book signing party. He closed two $12,000 deals with doctors who said, will you help me write a book for my business? And he's like, yeah, I can help you do that. But he, he picked up some marketing. But more importantly, he saw an opportunity in the medical tourism industry because there were no podcasts about it. Well, just from the connections he made at that event, which were doctors, he met some patients and he started a podcast called Healthcare Elsewhere. And uh, what happened next is awesome. So here's what happened. He did this podcast, he just recorded some sessions, and whatever the most popular ones were, he had transcribed and turned into a book called Healthcare Elsewhere. Well, what happened is he stayed in touch with the person who booked him. He got called back to be their keynote speaker. There's a picture of him doing a keynote speech. Eight months before, he had never even heard of this uh, business, and suddenly he's the expert and authority on marketing in that entire industry. But this is the best part. This is a text, I grabbed it right from my phone, he got a call from the country of Belize asking him to be their marketing advisor because they're launching an entire town devoted to medical tourism. How's that for a kick-ass story? So here's the most important thing of all. Books create opportunities that enter into your life sideways that simply would not happen any other way. And the synchronous opportunities, and again, I can't wait until you get to tell your story. This is so good. You're sitting down at the edge of your seat. Um, but I mean, it's unbelievable what happens. So your book is the ultimate foot in the door strategy. So your leads and prospects beg to work with you. Again, this is a, a classic example that's happened to me. I got a call from um, a very, very high profile Beverly Hills billionaire. Now this person had purchased two of my books, read them, contacted me and asked for a meeting. And I said, what the hell? I might as well show up at a very expensive hotel for a day and listen to see what this is all about. So this person sat me down and said, Mike, I read your books, and I only have two questions for you. How much do you charge, and when can you start? Okay. Now, when's the last time that stuff happens? It was no, why should I work with you? Why should I hire you? I did not have to qualify myself at all. I walked in there a king in a billionaire's castle. And I turned to her. It's a, it's a her. And, uh, and I, you know, she told me what she wanted. I said, really what you're looking for is an employee and you can't afford me. I said, I've got a business that's making more money than you could justify giving me. I, I, we, the starting number would be $2 million. So I, she looked at me and gave me the look of someone who had never been denied before, and it felt so good. Because I grew up, and I wanted three things when I grew up, okay, which was I grew up in a really, really cold place. Eagle Lake, Minnesota, we had 35 below winters. Anyone from the Midwest knows this, okay? And the number one thing I heard growing up was we can't afford it. Because my dad worked so much, and there were three kids below me, we were late and last for everything. So I, got, I was used to showing up, and there were scraps left in the buffet, right? Stuff like that at the church buffet, okay? I'm not talking about nothing, something fancy here. So I, had th I made a vow to myself, and this is why I taught myself how to code, because I, I wasn't good at sports, I wasn't popular, I was short. And I was just stupid. You know, I felt stupid my whole life. I was a D minus everything. And my, you know, my school advisor basically said you could be a garbage man someday. You're creative, but, you know. So I vowed to myself, I'm going to be rich and first and warm. And I live in San Diego, all right? And the rest is history. So uh, thank you. All right. So if you want to be rich, and I don't know if you want to be warm, whatever you, you like, but rich and first is damn good. No matter what. All right. So I also have a foot in the door strategy. This is super powerful. 
and it's buy your own book on Amazon. So when you're listed on Amazon, and there's a billion other places you can list, not a billion, there are other places you can list your book. Amazon's the easiest, fastest. So what you do is you buy your book on Amazon, paperback, and you get, anytime you get an address, and it can be like an address of anyone. If you want to get your foot in the door for less than 10 bucks, this is how you do it. Buy your own book, send it to a prospect's address. If you have Amazon Prime, which you all should if you don't, Amazon pays for your shipping, and your book is printed and delivered the next day. Wrapped, by the way. So I have a question for you. Have you ever ignored a package from Amazon? Have you, uh, has anyone ever opened up presents that were addressed to you without getting maybe stabbed a little? Okay, right? So what I do is I have a gift wrapped, which bypasses the gatekeeper, and I include a card which has a little video. I make a little video on my phone saying, hi, this is Mike Koenigs, and you and I met at blah, 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 blah. And the reason I'm sending you a copy of my book is because, insert thingy here, I'd like to do a deal with you. I'd like to blah, 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 blah. It's two, one minute long, okay? I can get into any CEO's door, any celebrity's door, because guess what? Addresses are published. Might be a little creepy if it's the home address, but I'm talking even to a business address. But you can close the deal on your first call or email, or they call you. Works like a charm. That's what the card looks like. Hi, and here's the funny thing. I teach this thing, and I start getting packages, and I fall for it every freaking time. I get like, oh, I don't know what I even ordered. Open it up. Oh, this is nice, a little gift. I'm like, I just fell for it. There's a book in here. All right. But anyway, it is the best way to get someone's attention. It is so memorable. And how many times has someone sent a personalized gift book to you? How often do you get them? right? Less than 10 bucks. A freaking Facebook ad costs 14 bucks or a lead costs 14 to 16 bucks these days. All right. So this is the video that uh, one of my clients sent me. Allison was her name. Okay. Next one. Book builds instant credibility and celebrity status so that you can increase sales and your fees. So one of my clients, this is genius. I did not come up with this. The nice thing about having a community of 1,100 best-selling authors is all of them are little geniuses cranking away, coming up with ideas that I get to share with you. Okay. Life as a laboratory. Carol Clark, she and her husband have a bariatric weight loss clinic. Now, it's both surgical and non-surgical results. Well, marketing is always a pain in the butt, and what they do is they do ads, they get people into a room, do a seminar, and then convert them in the seminar. Now, that works. It works well, and they were better than most. But what they did is they realized there were phases that people went through. And all they did is repurpose content that was already on their website that was up for free and put it in a package that their prospects would actually buy. Got it? You can sell your marketing. Isn't that nice? Do, 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 do. Okay, so, um, so their first one is, is weight loss surgery right for you? Answers all the questions. Now, what was great is they get to mail this, they get to ship it. Next one is preparing for weight loss surgery. It's all the frequently asked questions that no one ever reads. But this is, it's basically an instruction manual on how to be a great customer for me. Right? The third one is find out why your best efforts aren't working. This is for someone who can't understand why they're not losing weight because they're drinking ice cream through a straw after the bariatric surgery. I, I'm just, I'm, I don't know if that's true or not, but I, I just kind of imagine I can't understand why I'm not losing weight. So, okay, anyway. Um, so here's what happened though. This is really cool. Their seminar to surgery conversion rate increased double. So it went from 25 to 53%. And they added $145,000 to their bottom line the first year. Okay, not too bad. So I don't know about you, but if I got a 10 to 15% bump in money, now, you know, those aren't expensive. I mean, that's like money on top, right? That's profitable money. That's a good story. How would you like it if you just got a bump like that? Like now? Now, now? Okay, good. So your book will get you speaking opportunities and grow any local business. So again, meetups, it doesn't matter what it is. Getting people to show up. Setting the book out, boom, instant status. Now, this is another one of my favorite stories. This is a guy who is, uh, his name is Andy Falco. He was a police dog trainer. Lost his job. He was going through, when I met him, uh, he was going through bankruptcy and foreclosure, and he was just trying to be a dog trainer, right? Charging whatever, 35, 70 bucks an hour, whatever a dog trainer charges. So I convinced him to write a book, and then he started using that, to uh, generate some leads. But what happened is um, he started getting calls. Again, just because of the name of his book, and he started sending it out to a few people. And um, I'm going to play a little video for you, and then I'm going to show you what happened next, because this is pretty darn impressive. And again, 
fairly typical with the kind of things that wind up happening. So here we go. This is Andy Falco over in the Los Palace. Because of my book in this conference room to a full house. <laughs> so thank you again. That's a uh, shit eating laugh, and, by the way. Uh, Paul, Pam, and Ed, and all those people that have had a hand in um, allowing me to uh, prosper with you all and to write my book. And again, because of my book, I'm here in Caesar's Palace, going to be speaking to, I don't know, I think it's about 800 people, something like that. All right, looking forward to it. I will actually see if I can text out a picture tomorrow, but it is a little awkward on stage to do a selfie. <laughs> All right, because of my book, I'm here in Caesar's Palace. Great. Talk to you later. Take care. Bye. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. awesome. All right, and it gets better. So he got on National Geographic, ABC Discovery, Caesar's Palace, Planet Hollywood, spoke at the National Press Corps, and he got on a Caesar Milan show, which still runs. So check this out. Now remember, he's before this, 35, 75 bucks an hour. Can't figure out how that, you know, what the hell to do with himself. He gets a call from the Kingdom of Bahrain that want him to train their royal dogs. So I'm gonna show you this. This is he gave me a snapshot of his bank account. I couldn't make this stuff up. That's 50%, a $350,000 deal. That's $173,000 down. That's a good day in the office, honey. Yeah. All right, the next one down there was a French family whose dogs had been caught. They bit someone, and they were supposed to put them down at some law in France. Said, please save our dogs. They shipped them to him to be trained, and they gave, well, it's a $7,000 deal. Not too bad. All right, so all in a day's work. Um, next, <clears throat> it's influencer and celebrity status and media. And I told you how easy it is to get pay to play or get in local media. It is a press release that you can copy, paste, insert a picture of your book and say, number one best-selling author so-and-so is available for your show. We've got examples on how to do that. So I always like to show like an example that's like no effing way kind of deal. This is Sandy Missouri. She does, prior to this, she did balloon animal bar mitzvahs and birthdays, okay? Just imagine. All right, so if it works for balloon lady. But what happened was she wrote a book and what she started doing, very, very genius, she started doing events with balloons as decorations, backdrops, okay? So you'd see a bunch of balloons and stuff like that. So she wrote this book and mailed the book to event planners who basically referred business to her. It's pretty smart. Well, as a result of that, um, she became not only a best-selling author, but she got on the Today Show, and now, I just saw her uh, a week ago, and she's been on TV over 70 times, Okay? which just gives her unbelievable access to consulting deals, and it builds momentum, it builds more status, but it gets better. Um, so she got on Hallmark Channel. Okay, that's kind of cool. Hallmark Channel, great, a whole bunch of this. There you go. Huh? Dare I say the real White House? Was that, was that incendiary? I'm sorry. But, um, but she was at the White House and decorated that, and uh, what, I mean, a balloon lady, right? Was that, seriously? Okay, beautiful. Decorated the White House for Halloween. Pretty impressive. Okay, so um, I want to skip past this one. I didn't mean to leave that in here. Okay, here we go. How to make, oh, boom. First day with the clicker. Oh, there. No, there. This is one of my favorites. So one of the things I always do is I travel with Sharpie and my books. Three books. <clears throat> now, one of my favorite stories is one day I'm at an event. Kevin Harrington was speaking at it. You know him, Shark Tank guy, right? From, and I uh, see him, he's rushing out with his car, you know, his little luggage, and he's on his way out. And I go, Kevin, um, you and I have a lot in common. I know you're on your way, and you're a really busy guy, and people like me always walk up to you and tell you that we should do something. But here's a copy of my book. I signed it. It's got my contact information in it. Hand it to him on the way out. And he goes, sure, man. He tucks it in his thing. It's like probably the last time I hear from him. Well, I know he lives in Florida. Five hours later, I get a call on my phone. Brr, Florida number. Pick it up. Yeah, baby. So it's like, yeah. And he goes, Mike, it's Kevin Harrington. You're right. We have a lot in common. We ought to do something together. Two months later, he's speaking on my stage. And I'll tell you, his normal speaking rate is $50,000. I will tell you, I didn't have to pay that. Okay? That's like a boom. Oh, by the way. And this works at, at live events like you can't believe. So, um, <clears throat> so write this down. Take a picture of this. This is the script you use. 
to get people to call you back. Hi, blank, great meeting you today. I have an idea that will help you fill in the blanks here. Whatever brand promise you deliver, stick it in there. Check out page blank because it's something you can use right now. I can tell you there could be one sentence in your book that someone can use right now you can refer that causes them to open it up and start flipping through it. Okay, text me at phone number or email me at this uh, and looking forward to connecting soon. So I want to give you the story. <clears throat> I told you the Minnesota thing. I grew up low, you know, low self-esteem, never, you know, I couldn't imagine I could ever be anything, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of people told me I was stupid. So um, I'm on a flight to Austin, Texas on my way to South by Southwest. Two guys sitting in front of me. One says to the other, do you see who's in front of us? The guy says, yeah, that's Richard Dreyfus." And I think to myself, I want to meet Richard Dreyfus. I, I want to know him. So I like, but I'm just this dumb kid from Minnesota story. You know, that old stuff still goes through my head once in a while. And, you know, I love his movies. I love his character, and he's salty. You know, he's just interesting. So I look him up, and one of the things I realize when I look him up is he's got a nonprofit foundation. What do all nonprofit foundations need? In order to get money, you have to get the A word. Attention, correct, okay? So what I did is I pulled out one of my books that I always travel with in my bag. I signed it, and I carefully wedged myself on the way out of the planet, walked up. Hi, Mr. Dreyfus. My name is Mike Koenigs, and I have an idea that will help you raise awareness and money for your foundation. He turned around, he looked at me, and he goes, call me Rick. He goes, I need you. And I go, I thought to myself, fucking A. But um, <laughs> so... Uh, what happened next is he goes, so where are you going? I go, I'm going to South by Southwest. He goes, me too. He goes, what flight are you on? I tell him it's uh, flight 229. He goes, me too. He says, tell you what, I'll make sure we're sitting next to each other in the next leg of the flight. Bam. All right. <laughs> so we have a little chat and he goes, so tell me all about this you everywhere now thing. And I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I said, first of all, you should write a book. I think it'll get you, uh, da, da, da. I said, if you start writing a book, I've been working on one for five years. He goes, my back's killing me. I'm getting all fat, and I hate traveling because it's how I raise money. And I'm like, um, well, I have another idea. I've got a studio in San Diego. I have a million-dollar studio. It looks like TV. How about if I interview you about your foundation? You can just send the video. He goes, great idea. Bam. So two weeks later, he's in my studio recording because of a book. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. All right? So this was the letter. I didn't take the exact picture, but I made it. I, I remembered it later. It's, Hi, Mr. Dreyfus. My name is Mike Candy. I have an idea that will help you raise awareness and money for your foundation. Read page 43 because it's something you can use right now. That's how you start a conversation. You sell without selling. You close deals, baby. And, and dudes. Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> here's where we get to the part where I can help you do this. But first, so first of all, Imagine becoming a best-selling author, and I will make you a best-selling author guaranteed. That's the business I'm in. It's one of the businesses I'm in. Sound interesting? More importantly, it's not about the book. It's about what a book will give you. But first, I have some proof. So Dennis, you've got a microphone right next to you. This is the white mic, guys. You ready to turn that on? Dennis did the program. And by the way, raise your hand. I, Chiquita's not here, but Haiti is here. Where are you, Haiti? Right here. We got Pamela Hopman right here. We've got D-Club right here. Awesome. And Liz, I know, was here too. Oh, you're all together. Sweet. Okay. So I have to be super respectful with time, et cetera. But why don't you tell your story, Dennis, that you told me because it's fucking badass. And you make sure it. you record this. This is so good. We'll make it super fast. Um, I am a friend of Allison's. We've been flying trapeze together for years. And I ran an idea by here about two and a half months ago. Uh, it's <clears throat> based on corporate culture and some ideas that I had. And she came back and said, what you need to do is you need to write a book because nobody's saying this. And I said, oh, what a nice brush off. And, uh, uh, and she, <laughs> I said, well, that was tastefully done. And she goes, no, I'm serious. And what you need to do is uh, get in touch with uh, Mike Koenigs. And he's got a program to guide you through writing a book. You'll become a number one bestseller. And I went, yeah, right. That can't happen. So... Uh, based on a recommendation, I got with Mike and went, uh, we, we, I went through a system and the really, the part of this that just sounds unbelievable is that you become a number one bestseller before your book is written. It's a presale. So here I, well, I go through the program. Here's my book. It's up on Amazon. Here's the title. Here's the description. Here's my bio. Two weeks later, literally two weeks, I get an email. 
from a VP of HR of a major insurance company. And she said, we are looking for a keynote speaker uh, on culture. I read the description of your book, and it's exactly what we're looking for. Do you have any interest? And I said, no, nah, trash it. So I uh, wrote her back, and I said, cone of honesty. Uh, the book isn't finished yet. It'll be out in September. Other cone of honesty. I have been on stage a lot in my life, but I've never been a keynote speaker. And so this is very new territory. We're a little cart ahead of the horse. Here's my number. Would you like to talk? She calls me 15 minutes later. We're on the phone an hour. This is not like a, a fake hour. An honest to God corporate VP on the phone an hour. And it's a love fest. So she said, I love what you say. I love what you're talking about. Could you write it up what you would speak on in 90 minutes? I'm going, yeah, sure. <laughs> wow. So I, <laughs> I go to work and go, 90 minutes, that's not long, said no one ever. So I write an outline, and I'm thinking of all the things that I would uh, put in the book, which isn't written, uh, written yet. And so I send her the outline. And it turns out she loves the outline. And she took it to her, her panel and her VPs, and they said, we like this outline, but we need to meet him. And she tells me that, and I go, well, I don't have a demo reel because I've never been a keynote speaker. And so I cobbled together some things with culminated with me in my living room with my wife, on her iPhone, and I thought, if anything's going to kill this deal, this is it. They're going to see this video, and it's going to say, you know, good luck and good bowling, but no thanks. So we send the video, and she gets back to me and, say, and said, oh my God, we love it. Let's go to contract. We need a number. So I went like this. <laughs> and I said, okay, here's a number, because I've never done this before. It's a ridiculous number. You're not going to pay me this. We went to contract for that number. She never even questioned it. They're paying me $24,000 <laughs> to be a keynote speaker at three leadership meetings, Orlando, <laughs> Dallas, and San Diego in October and November. So this whole thing is happening, well, start to finish, from meeting Mike to here is about six weeks. Now, I'm 80% done with the book. I've got a month to finish it, and I'm feeling the pressure. But my, there's something else I didn't even tell you, and I've got to run this by you. Uh, based, on, based on the book, I get called to do a podcast. So I'm a guest on this podcast, and I show up at this, at this studio, and I, and I said, uh, this is going to be great. What are we going to do? He goes, well, we're on about an hour. And I went, uh-huh. And I said, yeah, this will be an hour, and it'll be fun. And he, we had talked a little bit, so he knew what my topic was about. So we blow through this hour and have a great time, and we're laughing. So about a week later, I get this call. He's going to be a guest on a national podcast, guaranteed 100,000 listeners. He recommends to them that I be the guest on this show called Talent Culture. Again, my book is about uh, the, the status of uh, corporate culture in America and how it sucks. So that in mind, I get a call from them, the booking agent for this big company. And we talk. She goes, I'm sold, and, and I'm going to be a guest on the show, and I figure it's going to be 10 minutes. She goes, oh, no, no, it's an hour, and you're the guest. You are the show. And, and I got blown away. And I, and, I said, and, I, and I added this, how do you make money? I said, are you a nonprofit? She laughed. She goes, oh, no, <laughs> we're not a nonprofit. She said, normally people pay us eight to $10,000 to be a guest on this show, on this podcast. And, and she said, you just happen to fit exactly into what we need for this big extravaganza cultural rollout they're doing. So we want you to speak. So that's how we make our money. So that's what's happening, little mister. All right. Congratulations. I'm going to get to you guys in a couple of minutes, but I'm going to go through, um, I, yeah, so let me just tell you what I got. So I'm going to ask Dee to share in a moment, and Haiti, and Pamela, because they all have amazing, amazing stories, and, and Liz as well, and Chiquita as well. She's not here. She's such a doll. I love you. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to share with you the system, because I think that's the most important thing. So what, with what you already have, which is your 10 by 10, you have clarity and vision on your content. And this, again, you can evolve this anytime you want. You can update your content. You can update your cover anytime you want. But we have a system that flat out works. I'm going to show that to you right now, okay? Rock and roll? You ready? So come on, let's have another woo. All right, nice. All right. Um, and for men, let's have a roof. There we go. Some dog barks. Good. Let's have a woo and a roar. Okay. Woo! 
Guys. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. One more. I love that. That's good. All right. So I'm excited now, too. So this is uh, our system. So the first step is just five steps. The first step is preparation. It's just getting clear on your book's purpose. In other words, how will you have a book that builds and grows your business? Okay. And how to hook your audience. Now, I've got people who go through and they do novels and they do da da da. And I say, look, here, unless you have all the money you need and all the attention and all the audience you need, write a business book first. You can do whatever you want, but I'd like to help you build and grow an audience. Step two is performing. I call this perform. It's also like sculpting. You don't have to be a writer to be an author. I teach you five different ways to turn what's already in your head that you're already doing into content you can use right now. And then publish. We show you how to get published in a day. It takes like two hours for free, and you get paid every single month from Amazon. Okay? And we'll show you how to publish in other places as well. If you want to do audio books, or you want to go out, get listed in Ingram, etc. Okay, next is how to promote. How to hit number one best-selling seller status. Now, in 90 days or less every time, most people do it in less than two months, but it varies. It depends on you and your commitment. Okay? We show you how to promote, how to sell your book, how to build and grow your platform. And then finally, how to make money with your book. Now, you've heard a couple of them. Some of them just flat out happen by accident because that's what books do. They just open up synchronicity opportunities because there are more ways to find you, all right? But the, making money with a book is not a problem. <clears throat> so I also have some kick-ass bonuses for you. First one is we have an awesome private Facebook group Team, how's that private Facebook group? All right, so highly engaged, and we support each other, we buy each other's books, which brings us to the next one. The part of the way that I guarantee you're going to be a best selling author is we promote you in our community, in addition to showing you how to leverage your existing audience, even if you have an audience of what you think is none, which is nonsense. Next up, we have designers who will make book covers for you. Now, we also show you how to outsource them if you want your own done. But we make really good-looking covers that at least get your book out there. And again, you can swap it out. You can replace it as often as you want, whenever you want. What's important is you, we create a really good-looking cover for you that is brand representative. And then <clears throat> oftentimes I get asked, well, Mike, what if I've worked with a traditional publisher? What if I'd like to work with a traditional publisher? So some of my best friends in the whole wide world are New York Times bestselling authors and their agents. I have a, an agent in New York. I'm good friends with Scott Hoffman, who represents Brendan Bouchard and many others, and Celeste Fine, who represents Dave Asprey from Bulletproof Coffee, JJ Virgin, and many others as well. So we have training in there. Brian Tracy is one of my best friends as well. So then we give you done-for-you emails and marketing templates. How are you going to market? How are you going to promote? Done. Copy, paste, send. Next. How am I going to get started? Book writing template. I have a fill in the blanks, copy your content into the template, and you can publish it. Now, if you want to get an editor, I'll get to that in a moment. Okay? I also have, I convinced JJ Virgin and her attorney, Peter Hoppenfeld, who's a friend of mine, to give me an entire New York Times best selling swipe file, all of her promotional copy, all of the lead capture pages, and the data. So if you want to do a launch for your book, it's already made. Okay? That's kick-ass, by the way. And it genuinely cost her $250,000 to make. And then every month, I do online Zoom trainings. You can ask me any question you have. You can run your book title, your book subtitle off of me. Any kind of question about building and growing your audience. That happens. And then... Um, I just am creating a brand new module called Outsource Your Book in 90 Days or Less Quickly and Affordably. Now, it turns out we have a certification program. We have people who have gone through our programs who do this as a business. So if you want someone to do everything for you step by step, we've got people in our community, and we'll go through uh, how to get them and also what to pay them and how long it takes. So if you don't want to do any of the busy work, this is brand new, just added it because a lot of people are asking for it. And... I had to create another bonus, a physical bonus item. I have a USB drive with my quick start guide. You can plug this right in your computer. I have a one hour audio that goes through exactly how I've created books in three days. Start to finish, like idea to number one bestseller status, including the templates. All of it's on this drive. I have 15 of them with me. That's all I have left. There you go. That's the scarcity bonus. All right. So, and 
Allison said, this is cool. I'm going to give you two tickets. We're doing an event in October. This is a bonus. You don't have to come, but it'd be nice to have you. Um, October 23rd through 25th here in beautiful San Diego, Promote and Profit. So if you want to know more about building, growing, monetizing, we go in depth. Books, speaking, product creation, funnels, the heavy duty, Facebook ads, how to get in the media, how to build your celebrity status. It's in here as well at that event. Not a big sales event. This is a content event. So that's the system, okay? So if you're wondering, well, how much? How do we get started? Here's a summary. First of all, it's an online instant membership site, okay? So you'd have access right away. Um, we get monthly bestseller coaching with me. You can bring your assistant on if you want someone to support you. Um, you get access to our private Facebook community to buy your books. We're going to do and create your book cover for you. And we give you the templates you need and how to outsource your book if you want it all done for you. I give you the JJ Virgin bestseller swipe file. And uh, first 15, get this cool USB drive thingy. Now, the price of the digital program is currently $39.97, and because I can talk to all of you at once, you're going to get a huge savings today. How do you like that? Thank you. All right. So um, here's the deal. Oh, yeah. For the first 10, I will buy and promote your book and send it out to my entire social following, which is over 200,000, okay? A, a personal, private promotion. Why do I do that? Because the more social proof I have, the more people are going to be attracted to this. We both win. I want you to sell a whole bunch of books, and I don't have anyone go through this who... Everyone becomes a best-selling author. That's the bottom line, all right? I guarantee you will be a best-selling author. Simple as that. So here's the summary. I'm going to give you 50% off. Um, it's $19.97. Right now, we're a three pay of $727. And uh, again, the first 10, I will buy and promote your book. I'm going to guide you through the process, and this is everything you need to get going like today, today. So it would be, all right, thank you, baby. I appreciate that. All right. And I have a, I have a uh, so, okay, how many? Oops. All right. Oh, can you start my uh, doodad again? I just accidentally clicked out of it. I got a stick for you right here, or the drive. Thank you. So while we do that, thank you. Do you want to go back to, to, to uh, Chris? Chris in the yellow shirt will accept your application. So come on up. In the meantime, um, I'll, why don't you come up here and tell your story? And thank you. Great. All right. Okay, and I have Stephanie back here. Come on up. Oh, you've got, okay, great. Take it away and tell your story. Okay. Tell everyone who you are, first of all, and what the name of your book is. My name is D Club, and my book is The Art of the Message. Okay, that's okay. Speaking. Crank it up a bit. Yeah, okay. go ahead. Okay, my name is D Club, and my book is The Art of the Message. I own an. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Okay, so ignore the people in the back because it's all about me. No, actually, you guys are at a tremendous advantage because. I learned about Mike from when Allison had him on one of her training videos. I was literally outside a client's door listening on my phone to you and hoping the client wasn't going to get there so that I could stay and listen to the rest of your message. And after I heard your message, I got with my mastermind group, who, like we are always kicking each other's ass, right? And I said first to Liz, I think we should do this because, you know, I didn't want to do it on my own, right? So she said, you know... I, I don't think we're ready for this, you know. No, and then she said, maybe we are. So we actually went to the program with Mike together, kicked each other's ass all weekend or for the three or four days, and then produced our books. And it is a process that works. So I highly recommend you guys consider this. After I did Publish and Profit, Mike has another program. I know I'm not supposed to sell this, but he does another program called Consult and Profit, which is an online course. I actually got sick and could not go to the, the, pre, the actual physical thing, but I'm doing his consultant profit course on my own, and it rocks. So I highly recommend you invest in yourselves and do this. Ah, thank you. Thank you. All right, who's next? You want to go, Pam? All right. You digging this? Oh, Haiti's got something. Go ahead, Haiti. Um, be very fine. quickly, you first join Pinnacle if you haven't, and then you join Mike. Uh, here's the real deal. Here's what I call the, fem uh, the male version of Alison Maslin. Everything he said, 
he will do for you plus so much more. Um, I've been a speaker for 20 years. I had not written one book. I've written a thousand blogs. I became a speaker, number one Amazon bestseller, not once, but 11 times international bestseller in less than 24 hours. You can do it. He's the real deal. And if there's anything you do, you sign up for this. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate that. Do you have a story? I have a story. All what right. about me? Yes, Pam. Let me okay. find Pam. Okay, here we go. So many of you know I have a program I do to help women and men get, gain financial clarity and confidence and freedom around money. So now I've turned it into a book. So sometimes you do it the other way. You do the book and then you do the program. I, I did the program first. And Mike helped me with the name. I didn't have a, a great name. And he came up with Wealth Amplified. Um, and as a result, the book will be totally available the beginning of September. Um, I've already got podcasts that I'm, I'm talking to. I've already got another set of the, the, the program, the live program will go out again in, in October. I've already got a, um, a person who's going to put it into a webinar. So I'm, I'm actively looking to promote this. It, it's a huge deal for me. It's, it's what I love. This is, the, this is my heart. This book is my heart. Because this is, you know, I do a lot of financial planning for people, and I make good money at it, but this is what I do for my heart. And so, and I was a best-selling, international best-selling author in seven categories within 24 hours. So awesome. Thank you. All right. Liz Papagini. Papagini. Oh, my goodness. Did I pronounce it correctly? Papagini. No, you didn't. I didn't? It's Papani. Papani. Papani or whatever. Papani. Yeah. Okay. Gosh. Um, for me, everything that all the other ladies said is absolutely true. Um, and, uh, but for me, because of what I do, I have, a mar- I have a marketing company, right? And sometimes that's kind of like a dime a dozen, right? It's really hard to break through. And for me, as soon as I talk about what I do and I said I wrote a book, the light goes on. And they say, okay, let's talk more. So for me, it's a huge calling card for clients to get in the door or to get business because I'm not just another marketing firm. Right on. Yeah. Point of differentiation. Thank you. All right. I got everyone, right? I want to make sure. Okay. So I'll be here uh, available during breaks, the rest of the event, um, to support you in any way I can. One of the things that I love, love, love to do is work on book titles and subtitles. So that's one of the things that I do in the coaching. And I'll tell you, when you got a kick-ass title and subtitle, People pay attention and notice you. Um, so that's, you know, just being wealth amplified. Here's your subtitle, a five-step guide for the professional woman to make more money, keep more money, and love your life. Okay, so do you know who it's for, what she does, and what you get? That's the secret. It's all sexy time from there. So um, I'll put this back up. I'll be in the back to answer any questions. And here's what I'm going to do. Chris, um, you have to tell Davey this. Uh, I know I had a limit of 10 people I'll promote. Everyone who signs up, I will promote you. So that'll give you another incentive to do it during this break, okay? So get your, get your form in during this break, and I'll promote you to my entire audience. I will do that for you, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. It's been an honor. Allison, I love you. Here, come on, give me some sugar. Awesome. awesome. All right. And let me, let me just tell you this. When I wrote my book, Blast Off, I, I mean, it was a major deal to get my book to number one. I had to get... 25 joint venture partners. It took me six months just to put the whole promotion together. I spent way more than that, at least 10 times that. Um, And so when I saw that he was doing, I was like, oh my God, this is the most genius thing I have ever heard in my life. And so that's why we say, you know, to the Pinnacle clients, you definitely need to do this. And this is such a great opportunity.